When I turned my head, I saw a tall, skinny shadow human-like figure and it was reaching its hand down towards my sleeping brother's face. R asked Reddit, Serious, what is the most paranormal or unexplainable event, S, you have witnessed? My stepdad found our puppy Eddie on the side of the road. Someone had thrown him out of a moving car, and he had broken legs, broken teeth, a swollen and closed eye, and was severely dehydrated. My stepdad took him to the vet and paid quite a bit of money for surgeries to get Eddie fixed up. He got attached to the doggo, so we ended up adopting him. After that, even though he was the family dog, he was best buds with my stepdad. Anywhere my stepdad was around the house, you could find Ed tagging along. Eddie and I grew up together. He died while I was in college, and my parents buried him in a pet cemetery. Since it was sort of sudden and I was far away, I didn't get to say goodbye. A few months after that, I had a dream where Eddie comes and find me. His hair is matted and dirty, and his flesh looks kind of rotted, but he's wagging his tail and seems really happy to see me again. Eddie starts leading me down a hazy path, and the farther we go, the faster his tail wags. Finally, we get to this giant wall of mist that extends across the entire horizon and rises higher than I can see. Eddie gets real close to it before trotting back to me. He licks my hand, gives me a couple of nose boops and whines a little. Then he turns around again and starts to do that happy dog prance toward the wall until he finally passes through it. I can sort of see his outline jumping up and down excitedly next to a human shaped figure. I jog after Eddie and reach my hand out to touch the wall, hoping I'll be able to pass through it, too. That's when my cell phone rings in real life, waking me up. When I answer it, my mom is on the other end crying. My stepdad had just died of a heart attack. After my mother died I went to her grave a few times a week. I usually had my kids with me in this one day as we passed all the older cemeteries my eldest son who was 6 at the time asked mom, what are all those people waiting for, why are they just standing there the cemetery was empty and not a single human was there, when we got to my mom's grave he held my hand and said don't worry, grandma is with mom mom and they are happy mom mom was my mother's sister who passed away before my husband and I were even married, my son knew nothing of her or what we called her. He also would tell us when someone had died in a house. I don't remember this but my mother always tells me this story. Before I was born, my grandpa had a dream that he was playing soccer with me. My grandpa had brain cancer and was already in hospital. After I was born he met me for the first and last time. Again, he told my mother again about his dream two weeks later he passed away. When I was two years old, I was in a club with my parents. It was lunchtime, so my mother asked the nanny to get me for lunch. She comes back and says, he said he won't come. He said that he is busy. My mother, busy? Doing what? Nanny, playing soccer with his grandpa. Immediately my mother looks over the balcony, the soccer field and one of the goals was right beneath it. She sees me kicking the ball into the goal and screaming, catch it grandpa, catch it. She cried so much and still does every time she tells me this story. When I was in high school, my younger brother and I shared a bedroom. His bed was on one side of the room and mine was on the other. My brother was an avid sleepwalker and would also talk in his sleep all of the time. Sharing a bedroom with him. It was unsettling at first, but I eventually got used to it. One night, it's about 3am and I suddenly wake up from a deep sleep, instantly alert. I had this urge to look towards my brother's bed. I felt a presence in the room. When I turned my head, I saw a tall, skinny shadow human-like figure and it was reaching its hand down towards my sleeping brother's face. Its hand got maybe an inch away before its head jerked to the side and looked at me staring at it, frozen. The shadow then faded and moved up into the air, vanishing through the ceiling. Immediately, my brother shot up out of his bed, stood, and walked to the light switch. He turned it on and looked at me, in a very calm and solemn voice. He says, uh, did you feel it? Did you feel the hands? He then turned off the light and went back to his bed. I hid under my covers the rest of the night. My brother doesn't remember any of it. A few years ago, about a year after we moved into our house, my mom and I were home alone with our dog. 
I was in one bedroom and my mom was in another right across the hall. I heard my dog's toy squeaking down at the end of the hall. So I figured she was playing with it. No big deal. Then my dog came running into the bedroom, without a toy, but the squeaking continued. My dog was running around like crazy, in and out of the bedrooms as if she was trying to figure out where the squeaking was coming from. I figured my mom was teasing her, trying to get her to play. It continued for a few minutes and my dog was getting crazier and crazier until my mom called across the hall for me to stop squeaking the damn toy or making the dog crazy. So I stepped into the hallway and said, I don't have the toy, I thought you were squeaking it. At this point the squeaking had stopped, and we were both freaked out, standing right next to each other with the dog sitting between us. We looked down the hallway and the toy was sitting there, nothing touching it. Suddenly it started squeaking like crazy, as if someone were jumping up and down on it. The hair on the back of my neck stood straight up and I was frozen in place. My mom almost started crying. The energy was just so weird, I can't even explain it. Turns out the previous owners had a dog that died in the house, and they told my parents that the ghost of the dog comes around from time to time. Now, I've always been iffy about the existence of ghosts but I swear that ghost dog was playing with my dog's toy. I've had a few experiences, but the most confirmed that I have is when my ex, myself and a friend got an apartment together. She would ask if we used her private bathroom, which we never did, but she said she would come home and her mats in her bathroom would be thrown a lava. Then later on she was woken up by a voice that said look over here and she did and saw her keys jingling by the door. She said she rolled over to ignore it to pretend it wasn't there. She moved out shortly after that so the room was empty. Afterwards, my ex and I saw heard weird things from that room. One time I was in the living room and heard the shower curtain slide open. The door closed on its own. Heard movement that shouldn't be there. My ex started using the closet in that room to get changed while I was sleeping since he had to be up at 3am. He said one morning he went to get his uniform and his clothes moved around before he touched any of them. After all of this, a friend and I hung out in the room with a recording device trying to do ghost hunter sheet. We did capture some noise from the bathroom, but the only voice recorded that wasn't ours said shut the door. Thank you all for checking out my spoopy video. If you enjoyed and would like to see more, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Also take a look at these other videos below. See you next time. Stay spooky y'all.